Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something different and I'm going to show you what I use um, in my knitting bag and what I have. So obviously I've got needles uh, and you'll see lots of needles. Then I've got yarn and I like to use wool, 100% wool most of the times. Now sometimes I do acrylic with wool or bamboo. Um, the the wool I use for my socks is the Rowan Pure Wool um, Worsted and I find that it's very very nice to work with and I'm using it for these toe up two at a time um, magic loop socks and this is my recent project. Um, uh, the next thing that I always have is double pointed needles and um, I love these. These are by Knit Pro. Um, these ones in particular are the four millimeter ones. They're um, they're very easy to use. The yarn slides on them very easily, and they're quite pointy, so good for difficult stitches. Uh, and I really, really love them. I usually keep them all tied up with an elastic band, um, which is a hairband. The other thing that I always have in my uh, bag is scissors and I got this at the knitting and stitching show a couple of years ago. It's very small and it cuts really good and I think it's by Scissor City, yeah there it is. Um, I, if I can find it I'll link it down below but I love this scissors. Another thing that I use all the time is a tapestry needle and a blunt needle. This one is a plastic one. Um, I use it all the time. You've probably seen it in, in my other videos. Uh, very useful. A ruler. I use this um, for my needles and also to, um, to measure my swatches and um, practically everything. I use it as a ruler as well um, for other projects. But um, sometimes, you know, you have the measurements on the needles like I have on this one, but sometimes they, um, they rub off and I mean, I kind of know what needles, the, the size of the needle, but they're good for, um, they're good for just to check to make sure that you've got the right ones. So yeah, this one is a four millimeter one. Also a stitch marker and this one is a safety pin actually that I got off, um, a tag and I love it. I always have a crochet hook and uh, I use it for the provisional cast on when I do the toe up socks. Uh, I also use it for crochet and I I think I've done a video, I've done a granny square video. Um, you can we can go ahead and watch that one. Uh, a steel holder. Um, I don't use them all the time. Sometimes I just like to put yarn through and, and keep my stitches like that but I always have one just in case. And I keep everything in this pencil case. I got it at, um, I think I W. A. Smith's. Um, so I, I put everything in here and I always have this at hand. I mean, this lives by my bed. And the, the needle, I have it with yarn so I don't lose it. Uh, I forgot to put that back on. Now, um, I keep saying, but it's very, very, very important to have a um, row counter. And you can have one on your phone, like an app on your phone, but this one I particularly love because uh, with all my stitches, some of them are complicated and they go row by row by row. And um, I like to just know where I'm at if I have to leave my project for the next day. So I put that in my bag as well. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about this... Um, these new needles that I got and these are the Knit Pro Nova Cubics so they have four um, sides I don't know if you can see it doesn't focus very well but they're um, they're not round uh, and uh, and I love them and here is the a whole kit uh, just the Nova Platina I think they're called Knitter Sprite in America but I recently invested because this is an investment, I have to say. They weren't very cheap. Um, but I like these ones. So you have all kinds of sizes. And then you have different cable uh, lengths that you could um, put together like this. And they're very useful to have. I found myself 
shopping for needles all the time but now I have all my needles I just need to get yarn and I'm ready to go for my project so um, I hope you enjoyed this different video um, please like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one thank you bye